Already breached attic. Oh, good night. Okay, I'm going in. It's been a good while now since we played Oregon actually on a game, so maybe this will be a video. I'm usually pretty good here. Surprisingly, I haven't been getting this map recently. Very surprising because it's usually the most popular choice because nobody ever bans it. It's the normal ban so far, Jackal Thatcher. Kate, I'm guessing. Yep. We ban the Mira. I'm just gonna go with it. Between like Mira and Valkyrie for me, because nobody ever tries to ban a zombie or Solus with me. Even though I think those are like the two best defenders you should always try to ban. Mira and Kate are good bans on some maps too. Got like bank, I always want Kade banned. Or Mira. Okay, I'm just gonna take the frost here like I usually would. You guys have probably seen me play her before if you watched my videos. I appreciate all the support I've been getting recently too. I'm almost to 500 subscribers already. I just hit 400 a few days ago and I'm already halfway to five. It's crazy. The growth recently has been insane. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. I try to be helpful with how I play and whatever. The area. Keep the bombs protected. But okay. Oh, I was trying to shoot that radio. Dude, body blocked it. Luckily, they removed friendly glare. I'm gonna do the rat frost mat here, I think. If you make this vault pool, you can put a mat on the other side for when they jump over. Always do this one, too. I just made a short recently about this. I'll be the team reinforcing some walls here. I like putting this white one, too. I'm not going to do the rat one, actually, for this round. So I would prefer just to have one on big window. Like this. The other day somebody was roasting me, or at least trying to, in one of my shorts, too. The frost one I did. They were saying, uh, this frost mat right here, I put too far to the left. So they can jump in. They said it was a bad placement. I love how people try to talk shit to you when they don't even know how the game works. Like, a frost mat radius is so big when you jump on it. Already breached attic. Oh, good night. One more on attic side. The floor is just killing everybody. Ying. How to lose a 5v2 in like 5 seconds. I think she's seen this on her drone. Oh yeah, she did. They reposition. Yep, easy kill. Very predictable. Nobody even made the holes on attic there. Nice, let's go Malusi. At least we wrapped up the round. It was a 2v5, went down to a 2v2. And it is a 2v0. What do I want to go on the basement now? Nobody takes a Rooney, I think I will. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with a Rooney. She's really good in Oregon. She's good on most maps. She's like an S or A tier operator for sure. Probably S. I'd say she's a top five defender. Secure the bombs. She's really versatile. Okay, that guy can finish that. It takes me 10 years. Always make head holes on this wall. Yeah, I'm just gonna use two Arunis here. And then one on the front. Always make head holes on this too. Put the other barb on the stairs back here. Make that a little bigger. Ozzy's already watching Freezer. Guess I'll just watch front side for now. And I'm dead. That was so weird. It's like that dude knew I was there. So strange. That sucks through the timing right there. I made the Aruni go away right when he pushed. I was not expecting that though. Oh, nice. Well, mine might actually win this. Nope. Okay. Got close. I guess that's my bad. I had to set up so much, though. I reinforced stuff, I think. I made so many holes, and I put my barb and my Aruni gates down. So much prep for me there. By the time I got my shit down, I had nowhere else to play, really, because our teammates were already... Filling every spot. Should have just been more passive, I guess. We had no info on the front, though, so I was kind of in a weird spot. That was just unlucky timing. I'm going to go dock this time for the gun. And so it doesn't take me as long to set up the site. Although we don't have a smoke this time, so I guess we're not going to extend. That's okay. Secure the bombs. Still help. I feel like the bailiff is so inconsistent making these holes. But those are some good ones, but those ones are a struggle. It all comes out of the distance, I guess, so you're away from the wall. I think I'll play over here on the freezer stairs. Get the hatch. I think Yana just got in the front so fast last round. I was not ready for that one bit. It's good to barricade that too, so then you can you know if they're going to be pushing that side. Otherwise, they have to go all the way around to meeting kitchen or make a hole into the security right here. Well, it's a good start this time. Do need a stem. They drum me out, so I'm just gonna fall back now. Try to waste more time. Still a 5v4, we're in a good spot. Our team's gonna stay alive. Oh no, it's the Flores, he's gonna kill everybody again. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. <laughs> what did I say? Capkin's on the back stairs now, so it's not good. We're in bad spots. I don't know if somebody's still trying to flank me. One friendly operator remaining. Mm, I should have rotated back to site. I was hoping Capkin could get a pick or at least live longer. They still have so much time. Planting. Oh my god, he's pushing me. Interesting. All friendlies were eliminated. Don't ever do what this nook just did. Like, if he lost that gunfight right there, I would have had an easy 2v1 because line was like one health. I just shot that line a lot. The MP5 is a pea shooter, unfortunately. So I couldn't get the kill. Missed a few shots. Definitely don't do what Nook just did there. That dude would have missed, or if I would have uh, had some more health, and that would make it way easier to win the round. You never want to give somebody a 1v1 over and over and over again when you're in a 1v3 or whatever situation you're in. The Lion gave me the 1v1, and then the Nook gave me the 1v1, and then I would have just had 1v1 against the Flores. And I'd imagine he was already hit a lot because he just killed our whole team twice in a row. Did the exact same thing. That's not on me there, The I was holding the back. Everybody has to hold something when you're doing an Oregon bunker defense. You should have one person watching the front or maybe in like the supply closet where you put a mirror. And then have one person watching freezer. And then the other three can hold the back, like one in the Harry Potter spot, which is under the stairs. And then one holding the electrical area inside, and then one holding the pillar. The specific positions don't really matter as much, like I was just saying, but you should usually have everybody in sight on the Oregon defense if you're doing the bunker. And then everybody just watches something. Like, I had the back held down there. They weren't passing with me. But they just took advantage of my team, I guess, and got the back for free. Or the front. And that lion was making that difficult the entire round, too. He was the one pressuring me at the start. So I had to stay there for longer, and then he went to the front, too, and made it hard for me to cross back into the site. Kept hearing him the whole time. They gave us control here of tower really fast, so that's good. I always take T2 or T3. Lion's helping too, and Buck, nice. Oh, they're already getting the breaches I was gonna get. Don't do what Buck did though, make it crouchable on the right side. So you can go in behind that blue thing right there. This is why zero is good for this, so. Okay, I need to put a flank cam too here. Perfect shot. Argus deployed. Hello, there is a smoke on flank. I didn't move there. I didn't want to shoot the ace in the back of the head. That sucked. I don't know why that guy's hiding in that corner. Okay, they got him. It's just a zombie.
successful. Just an easy close out there, and that is on me. I heard him going through the rotate. Unfortunately, our teammate stole zero from me. Don't you just hate when your teammate takes your operator that you just did well with around before? It's actually insane how much that happens. It happens to me all the time. Makes sense too. It's that kind of player because they're taking the pistol on zero and so the gone six. Five seconds to go. Not trying to say anything, but I'm just taking the twitch. I'm pretty sure they're basement. This isn't reinforced. So I can just try to play for kills with the F2. And if they have a cap gun, I can take care of those too. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to break down here now. This is one shot this door, so I can just come in quickly. 2v5, our team sucks. Okay, I'm going in. So 2v4. This is going to be really tough to win. We don't have Diffuser. We only have half the round to get a lot of picks. Yana has no health. And dead with a grenade. Well, just the classic solo key round right here. Kind of have no options. Gotta try to get 1v1s. What was that movement? Okay. Nice aim. He's just better than me. I don't know why he was swinging. That was so weird. It's like he knew I was there. Is that gamer headset? I was fucked either way though. One v four there. Oregon bunker defense. No shot against all that utility. It is definitely one of those games. None of my teammates are going even. Not the first time that's happened this season. It will definitely not be the last. And I don't really care about KD either. I always play to win. I don't play for kills. Most of my kills will come in impactful rounds that we actually win. I think in this game even. Yeah, until this round that we just played with Twitch. All my four kills were in the rounds we won. The two rounds we won. I got a 2k each time. That's why I wasn't about to bait with Twitch for a minute and a half there. I just pushed sight and Try to see what I could do. That's how you get better. You just gotta Insertion do something. Seconds. Try to win. Don't just sit back in the spawn with your F2 and hope they PQ and go. get free kills and end up having 10 kills and 4 deaths and wondering why you lost the game because your team sucks. Well, you suck too. You always gotta try to win. I got my zero back this time. They're gonna have to be upstairs again. So let's see if we can get this done. Not sure if the team's coming with me here again. A couple of players are at least. Might have just got that Yin killed. I'm not sure if that guy ran up below. Yes, he did. He's just walking around. Dead. 
I mean, I don't know why Ying was repelling there when that door was open. That's just dumb. All you have to do is repel where I'm at. Or on the other side. Since they have the stuff on the wall, I have to shoot a zero to try to get rid of it. Oh, that's not too close. Or it gets blown up. We're good. Argus in place. Oh my god, I think it was. Well somebody shot it right away. Perfect shot. See this is how you can get the wall yourself with zero back here? Even if they had a cade, I could get it myself. Lost all of my health there. I picked right into his pre-fire at the start. Kind of in a bad spot again. Me and Yon have no health, just like last round. Our whole team's dead. 2v2 at least. Not sure where these people are. Fifteen seconds remaining. Ten seconds. One friendly operator remaining. Five seconds. Oh, right when I turned to start actually shooting, he peeked. I couldn't tell what he was doing. I thought he was looking away. They had the camera on me with the pings though. I'm sure they're calling out. That team was coordinated that we were playing. As they have been all season for me and my main. Well, nobody ended up going positive. There you go. Or even. Again, I don't really care about KD. It's just everybody dies so soon on my team. Like, what, what can I really do? Sure, I can push faster with them, but... I don't think it ends up mattering. It would have been like a 2v4 instead of a 2v5 or something. Maybe it would have gotten me killed too. Can't just stack up on everybody.